Hello students, welcome to today's class. So, you are in the class, this is the last part of the coordination compounds. So, you are in the class, bonding in metal carbonyls, stability of coordination compounds and applications of coordination compounds are discussed. Okay, next, so, bonding in metal carbonyls are discussed. So, from this, we can expect one mark question and all other expect mark was there. So, first of all, so bonding in metal carbonyls and arthamad kolod kinta munche, what are metal carbonyls and arthamad kolod? So, metal carbonyls nothing but homoleptic carbonyls. Homoleptic antandre containing carbonyl ligands only. You know, for example, NiCO4 irbodu, atwa FeCO5 irbodu. So, you will only metal carbonyl and carbonyl group as stay. That can be homoleptic carbonyls and the karitivi. And which are formed by most of the transition elements and have well defined structures. Another one and petroleum. So, in this particular case, one of the two structures we discuss about one mark. So, remember that you know, tetracarbonyl lichen is a tetrahedral structure. The structure is like this. Remember this. The structure is like this tetrahedral structure NiCO4. Then, second pentacarbonyl uh, iron 0 is a trigonal bipyramidal structure. And one thing is remember in all these cases, whenever carbonyl group will form bond with the nickel, all these metal ions will have an oxidation state E is equal to 0 and other NPL. Okay, so this is trigonal bipyramidal structure. So sp 3 d hybridization is the trigonal bipyramidal structure. That means hexacarbonyl chromium. Hexacarbonyl chromium will have an octahedral structure. You can show it like this. So all the structural drama is the case. So practice model is the one mark is board exam or the competitive exam. So decacarbonyl dimanganese is 0. Now the two square pyramidal structure is the manganese manganese bond. So you correct the two manganese manganese bond. And five carbonyl groups are attached like this. So pentacarbonyl yellow group is attached to the manganese manganese bond attached to the so, MN2CO10. That is the octacarbonyl dicobalt zero complex. So, octacarbonyl dicobalt zero is the cobalt cobalt bond. It is bridged by two CO group. So, this structure is a competitive example. How many carbonyl group is bridged between two carb cobalt? Okay. This is CO small O in the cobalt, this is carbon monoxide. 4 carbonyl liquid is 4 carbonyl liquid is 2 carbonyl group bridge is there. So, this is octacarbonyl dicobalt 0, cobalt to cobalt bond is there. So, plus carbon monoxide bridge is there. Then remember, bonding in metal carbonyl is discussed. The metal carbon bond is there. It is 2S with P character. And there is both character will be there in the bond. Generally, Metal carbonyl bond is there, it is S character. You can see this is the other component. This is FeCN6. FeCN6 is there. FeCN6 is there. FeCN6. So, it could have S. S and actually S and S orbital. Sigma character is the meaning. P and Pi. This is a single bond. That's why we have Sigma character. Sigma character. Pi character is double bond. Double bond is not there. This is a single bonded structure. So, single bond structure, sigma character, bonding in metal carbonyl. So, here again, I explain what is correct. Generally, now, we can discuss what is the way. For example, if the cyanide is a ligand, ligand having lone pair of electron that is donated to metal ion, that is a normal type of bond. Normal type of bond, you know, ligand in the metal ligand, electron on the donate model, this is a normal type of bond. Ligand in the metal ligand, electron donate model. This gain is the hydro ligand. Definitely ligand in the metal group to the ligand node. Carbon having lone pair of electron. Definitely it is donated. At the same time, ligand is having one vacant orbital. Very important node. Vacant orbital is the carbon only. Carbon only vacant orbital is the. Ah, vacant orbital is the. Metal is the lone pair of you pair of electron is there. How the? You have the other two. For example, you have C O N S three. 6 times 3 plus log now note this co is in 3 plus oxidation state ns3 is a strong ligand there so strong ligand is the pair after the pair are the in after the 1 2 3 4 5 6 agi so d2 sp3 hybridization after that not even e electron again on other time e electron yella metal at the there to the yawaga ligand will donate electron to metal at the same time ligand is having some vacant orbital then this metal what it will do metal will start giving electron to ligand no metal start ele giving electron to ligand very important metal start giving electron to ligand no very very important okay correct artha <coughs> 
So in this particular case, this metal is having lone pair. And carbon having lone pair. This is a normal bond. This is a normal bond. So coordinate bond. But at the same time, there is another bonding between the metal ion paired electron overlap with the vacant orbital of the ligand that we called as back bonding. That we will call as back bonding. Back bonding is the I think a double bond character. So that's why one do pi bond, one do sigma bond character. So this is the correct character. So you can observe on the screen. Okay. Not Metal carbon sigma bond is formed by donation of lone pair of electrons of ligand to the metal ion. So this is the common thing. Metal carbon sigma bond is formed by donation of lone pair of electrons on carbonyl carbon into vacant orbital of the metal. Hege nodi iriti. Oda e ligand ligand then ligand electrons it to metal ion pair. At the same time, at the same time, remember this sigma character. At the same time, the metal carbon pi bond is formed by the donation of by the donation of pair of electrons, pair of electrons from Field D orbital of the metal into the vacant antibonding pi star orbital. Carbon only one the vacant pi star orbital. Pi star orbital. Vacant orbital. A orbital. Field D orbital. This donate to the electron. This is donate to the electron. This is donate to the electron. This is double bond. This is triple bond. But we are doing overlapping. This is overlapping. We are showing. So, this metal to ligand bond creates. A synergic effect on the character now. Synergic and the combined and the combined effect and the combined effect of both sigma and pi. E type bond any day. This is possible only in case of metal carbonyl son of the three. A kind of vacant orbital in the vacant orbital. Vacant orbital is possible only for remember carbon carbon the limatra the lay. See and the lila. CO the matra is the other kagi back bonding possibility there. And this metal to ligand bonding creates synergic effect that is called as synergic bonding. So, which strengthens the bond between CO and metal. Correct Arthur. Because of this double bonding, or you can say back bonding, synergic bonding. So, it will increase the strength of carbon monoxide and the metal. So, once again, I will tell you normal bonding is metal carbon and Oh, whatever the ligand carbon is there, that electron donated to metal. But in addition to that, in the because of the lone, the vacant orbital present in the carbon of the ligand, field orbital of the metal donated to vacant orbital of the ligand. That is what we call it as back bonding. Very important. That is what we call it as back bonding. Another that is synergic bonding. Right? Remember that. Next, we will see stability of coordination compounds. This is very simple. Right? So simple. And uh, here also, they have not asked any explanation here. Stability of coordination compound, okay, how there is the question on the frame model. So here, you can notice stability of the complex in the solution refers to stability and the degree of association between the two species involved in the state of equilibrium. Yavagu stability he girta than tandre, ega yebi and tai than the toli. Dissolve in solution. Dissolve in solution. E yeb and no do solution or yes to hot to yeb formal lay there. Andre yeb madde bond inu idia, yavagi to break cock to the other than now stability and the caritri. So this will indicate the degree of association of a and b. Remember, degree of association of a and b. That is what we called as stability. However, there will be equilibrium exists. So the equilibrium exists. The equilibrium constant mele, we are going to explain about the stability. The very simple language that you can the coordination component to a metal ion and ligand bond is too strong. Another mele strength of the coordination compound can be explained. You know, magnitude of Nothing but the stability or the formation of the inaccurate Magnitude of the equilibrium constant for the association express the stability. And the equilibrium constant in other constant is indicated as K. K value. As K increases, under K of equilibrium increases, we can say stability increases. Stability just the end of the 
ಆ ಇಕ್ವಿಲಿಬ್ರಿಯಂ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಸೊ ಆ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಡಿನೇಷನ್ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ನಾವ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಈ ರೀತಿ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ನೋಡಿ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಲಿಕ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಗಿವ್ ರೈಸ್ ಟು ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಷನ್ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಅಂತ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮೆಟಲ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಲಿಕ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ರೈಸ್ ಟು ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಕ್ವಿಲಿಬ್ರಿಯಂ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಅದು ಕೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಬರೀಬಹುದು ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಲಾರ್ಜರ್ ದ ಕೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಲಾರ್ಜರ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ವೇರ್ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಕೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಹೇಗೆ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಇಕ್ವಿಲಿಬ್ರಿಯಂ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಬೈ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದ್ರೊಳಗೆ ನಾವ್ ಏನಂತ ತಗೋತೀವಿ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಂ ಇಂಟು ಎಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ ಟು ದಿ ಪವರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂತ ತಗೋತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಟೇಷೋಮೆಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಕೋಯಿಫಿಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಪವರ್ ಅಂತ ತಗೋತೀವಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಇಕ್ವಿಲಿಪ್ರಿಯಂ ನೆನಪಿದ್ರೆ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಈಗ ಇದು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಏನು ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಹೌದಾ ಈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಏನು ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರ್ತದೆ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೆಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾವ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ತಗೋತೀವಿ ಎಂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ರೈಸ್ ಟು ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಕೇವಲ್ ಅಂತ ಬರೆಯೋಣಂತೆ ನೋಡಿ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಂ ಇಂಟು ಎಲ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬರ್ದೇನ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹೌದಾ ಈಗ ಅದೇ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ವೈಸ್ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಫೈನಲ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಎಂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ರೈಸ್ ಟು ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಬಟ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ವೈಸ್ ತಗೊಂಡಾಗ ಎಂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಅದಾದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಟು ಆಯ್ತು ನೋಡಿ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆಯ್ತು ಸೇಮ್ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬೈ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಟು ಇಂಟು ಎಲ್ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಂಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಲ್ ಓವರ್ ಆಲ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಬರ್ದ್ವಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಕೆ ಒನ್ ಟು ಕೆ ಟು ನಾವ್ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ವೈಸ್ ಸ್ಟೆಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಥವಾ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೆಯುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಇದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೆಯೋಣಂತೆ ಸೊ ಕೆ ಒನ್ ಟು ಕೆ ಫೋರ್ ಈಗ ಓವರ್ ಆಲ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಬರೋದ್ರೆ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಎಂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ರೈಸ್ ಟು ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂತ ಆಯ್ತು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಕೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಬರೀತೀನಿ ಈಗ ಬೀಟಾ ಫೋರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಸೆಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಕ್ವಿಲಿಬ್ರಿಯಂ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಹೇಳಿದ್ವಲ್ಲ ಅದೇ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಂ ಇಂಟು ಎಲ್ ಟು ದಿ ಪವರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂತ ಬರ್ದೆ ನಾನು ಈಗ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇದು ಬೀಟಾ ಫೋರ್ ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಇದನ್ನ ಕೆ ಒನ್ ಕೆ ಟು ಕೆ ತ್ರೀ ಕೆ ಫೋರ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಹೌದಾ ಇದು ನಾಲ್ಕು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಬರ್ತದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಹೇಳಿ ನೀವು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋದಾಗೆ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನಿನ್ನ ನ್ಯೂಮರೇಟರ್ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿನಾಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಟು ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಟು ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅವಾಗ ಏನು ಉಳಿತು ಎಂ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ನೋಡಿ ಡಿನಾಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಎಂ ಉಳಿತು ಎಲ್ ಒನ್ ಎಲ್ ಟು ಎಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಲ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೇರಿ ಎಲ್ ಟು ದ ಪವರ್ ಫೋರ್ 
Hardness of water is determined by titration with sodium EDTA complex. Hardness and thunder, hardness is due to remember calcium or magnesium salts. So, these salts are not calculated. We will take EDTA as a ligand. That is the application of coordination component. And now, this ligand and use Madi, which will make the complex with calcium or magnesium. Depending on that, we will calculate how much percentage of hardness is present in the water. That is what we call as application of coordination compound. So, extraction of process. This is now general principle chapter. The RNA chapter we will discuss now. Extraction processes like silver, gold, these are the one which will use the formation of complex. Silver and now actually NaCN jate react madasi. We will convert this into AgCN twice plus erythion complex prepare madhi. Ide rithi gold again. Andre, either extraction of gold or silver is based on the form or based on the concept of complex formation. And now that we will call this as application of coordination compound. Silver gold. I'm going to example to Then, not the other nail explain my other. Gold when it reacts with cyanide, okay, in presence of oxygen and water to form coordination entity like this. Silver is the AG Then gold can be separated by metallic form in the form of zinc. So this reaction mundi and marathi, then a zinc jate react marathi. So that Zn Cn four times after the so plus silver herbal like this. Idana eager detail like the So this we are going to discuss under extraction of metals. Then Purification of the metals can be achieved by formation and the decomposition of their coordination compound. For example, nodi, nickel and purify we will use carbon monoxide. It will form plus coordination compound NiCO4, which on decompose to yield nickel. Andre, it look good formation of coordination compounds. Example for the coordination compound. So this is a purification process. Alina Mate, this RNA chapter will discuss more on it. In the biological system, Alantun in Botere, so magnesium, or the chlorophyll, chlorophyll is the one which is having magnesium. One must kill it in a complete exam. The link. So now, option put character, chlorophyll is the coordination compound of Anthel, which metal? Magnesium, but the chlorophyll or magnesium. Yarinetagi, red blood cells, hemoglobin, coordination compounds of iron, not the iron, iron very important in hemoglobin. Hemoglobin contains just the iron containing food in the other. So iron is the one which is very important present in hemoglobin as a coordination compound. Then vitamin B12 is a coordination compound of cobalt. Now with the kin on the narrative, cyano cobalamin and the narrative. Vitamin B12 is a complex of cobalt. Cyano cobalamin. Here it is. And in the catalyst in the industrial process. As a catalyst in the industrial process, what is important to very simple. Sodium complex, PH3, P thrice RHCl. So Wilkinson's catalyst on the carriage is Wilkinson's catalyst on the which is used for hydrogenation of alkenes. Is one sir J exam we did Which of the following is Wilkinson's catalyst on the Only for competitive exam we did it. Prepare again. So board exam generally we did Rhodium. Triphenyl phosphine on the carriage is not Triphenyl phosphine on the electron structure angle is not there. RHCl angle is not pH 3 P and he get what the pH 3 P and the so which is attached to P right so either care C 6 H 5 benzene ring attached to the heat he benzene ring attached to the three he type more more than only pH 3 thrice ideally pH 3 thrice irriti either now will kill some catalyst on the very Hydrogenation of alkenes are used. Number. In on the EDTA, EDTA is used in lead poisoning. Literally, lead poisoning. Generally, lead poisoning in other body only EDTA use used because lead can form complex with EDTA very easily. EDTA very easily. So because of that, we are going to use EDTA in the lead poisoning. Then some coordination compounds of platinum used in growth of in the inhibit of growth of tumors. And the cancer treatment are used. Cancer treatment and the end pretty Cancer treatment and the end. So cisplatin, cisplatin use. Cisplatin structure. 
ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ನಾ ಐದು ತೋರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಸಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಅದ ಸಿಎಲ್ ಸಿಎಲ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇದೆ ಎನ್ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇದೆ ಸಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟಿನಮ್ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟಿನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ ದ ಗ್ರೌತ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ಯೂಮರ್ಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಗ್ರೌತ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ಯೂಮರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೈಟ್ ಫೋಟೋಗ್ರಫಿ ಜನರಲಿ ಈಗ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಬಹಳ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಯಾಕಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಈಗ ಎಲ್ಲ ಡಿಜಿಟಲ್ ಆಗಿಬಿಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಬಟ್ ಮೊದಲೆಲ್ಲ ಏನಾಗಿತ್ತು ಈ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ಅಂತ ಇರ್ತಿತ್ತು ಹೌದಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ರೋಲ್ ಬರ್ತಿತ್ತು ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಈ ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ರಾ ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಫೋಟೋಗ್ರಫಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಜಿ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಜಿ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿತ್ತು ಎಜಿ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಕುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಯೋಸಲ್ಫೇಟ್ 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 ಮೊದಲೆಲ್ಲ ಈ ಫೋಟೋ ವಾಶ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅಂತ ನಾವೇನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ವಲ್ಲ ಫೋಟೋ ವಾಶ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದನ್ನೇ ಸೊ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ಏನಿರ್ತದೆ ಆ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ಅನ್ನ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಶ್ ವಿತ್ ಹೈಪೋ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಹೈಪೋ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇದೆ ಥಿಯೋಸಲ್ಫೇಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಥಿಯೋಸಲ್ಫೇಟ್ which dissolves the undecomposed agbr to form complex ion so and the complex ion formation ide annodakke we could call this as excess of copper body olage excess of copper and iron ittandre bala important excess of copper and iron ittandre which is used to remove by using chelating ligand that is called as d-penicillamine so d-penicillamine athwa dysferic ferrooxine this ferrooxine b anta karithivi so ee ondashtu chemicals anu use maadi remove maadtiddi generally in the medicinal industry use maado antad idu andre illi ee inta ligand anu use maadi complex maartivi annodakke we called it as application of coordination compounds excess of copper and iron can be removed from the body so these are all important applications of coordination compounds ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ನೋಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಸ್ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಷನ್ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಓಕೆ ಮುಂದಿನ ವಿಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಹೊಸ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಜೊತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ